The Welland Scuba Park today becomes one big, lazy river, and officials from the Guinness World Records Organization are on hand as Welland Float Fest attempts to set a new world record. Let's find out how they do. I'm here in beautiful, sunny Welland, Ontario to measure the longest line of water inflatables. We need to make sure that the line of inflatables is a single file line. We're measuring the distance of the number of inflatables together, not, the, not necessarily the number of people. And the inflatables cannot be attached in any way other than by holding hands. So we're measuring that with a surveyor uh, approximately three o'clock-ish, depending on how, how quickly the line can get put together. Who holds the current record? This is a brand new category for Guinness World Records, so we've got 100 metres as the target, which is 372 feet approximately, and we're making sure that that number is surpassed with the number of people on inflatables later on this afternoon. If you take a look at our waterway right now, it looks like that's going to, when you, when you link them all together, that 100 metres is going to be far in the distance. <laughs> yes, it's a good stretch goal just to make sure we've got a nice, good benchmark to beat in the future, and I think Welland has a good chance of crushing it today. I, I've seen a beautiful condition, there's not too much wind, the current isn't too strong, a little bit stronger yesterday, so they're in good shape, there's lots and lots of huge inflatables on the water, so they've got a really good chance today. When you look around today on the water and on the shore, do you uh, look and say, I can't believe there's this many people here today? I, I'm not taking it all in yet, but I will once everybody gets in the water, I'm sure. But uh, we've been busy for about probably three months, and I mean on a daily basis busy, uh, with questions and people signing up and registering, so I'm not surprised. Um, and I'm happy, I'm so happy that people came from far and wide, Delhi, Sarnia, you name it, they came, yeah, for this event, because they have family in Welland. So it's an opportunity, this is the kind of stuff that kind of gets me. It's the opportunity for families to get together for a weekend, and I love that. When I hear those kind of stories, those are the stories that had us redo this again this year. As far as the participants were concerned, it was a perfect Sunday to have a float and be part of a world record attempt. The World Float <laughs> Stephanie, what brought you out here today? Didn't get to go last year, so I came this year. Were you excited about the prospect of being part of a world record-breaking yeah, achievement? Right. Yeah, it's all right, especially for Welland, right? We don't get a lot of those here, so. Tell me about that, the city of Welland. Is this part of civic pride for this city, making this big record? Yeah, it's great. I think it'll do great things for us. It'll bring a lot of people out. Like, there's people from all over. My girlfriend's here from London, and there's, I don't know. I think it's great. Shan, can you tell me why you and Griffin decided to participate today? Well, we wanted a definitely a Sunday fun day, and it's awesome to just come down to the Welling Canal and float along. Beautiful day today. Are you amazed at how many floaties are in the water already? Definitely. I was standing in line, and I was like, wow, I can't believe how many floaties are here. Like, it's just, it's crazy, and it's awesome to see, for sure. You're going to be part of a world record. Was that any motivation for you to dip into the water? It's definitely a plus. Like, it's not every day you can say you're part of a Guinness World Record. What will that feel like to know that you're part of that record-breaking attempt right here in the city of Welland? I'm a, a Welland resident. Uh, it'd be amazing because uh, all the volunteers, all the people that put this together, I've been working on it so many years. The weather is very, very beautiful. No rain in the weather, uh, so we're going to break it this year, hopefully. We've been floating for quite a while waiting for this record-breaking attempt. Why did you come out today? Uh, we came out because we saw it advertised on Facebook and just the community coming together and... Uh, floating down the river, we thought it'd be an awesome sort of summer thing to do. Jesse, did you expect to see this many people on the on the Welland River? I expected to see quite a few, but maybe not this many. Yeah, there are a lot of people out here, a lot of friendly people. Very <laughs> fun, and it's a perfect day for it. As the official adjudicator for Guinness World Records, I can confirm that I included 157 participants and plates. We measured it, and the measurement was 165.74 meters, Woo! which means it's a new official Guinness World Record, Woo! and Wellen is officially amazing. We put our hearts and souls in this. Every single person on this committee, which is a nine-person committee, is uh, all volunteer and they put in long, long, long hours and they do it because they love our city. And we have so much to showcase here and it's, it's time to start really pushing it because we have the, I'm sorry, well, best city in the world. <laughs> Over a thousand who participated today can lay claim to a Guinness World Record for the longest continuous line of floaties right here in Welland. Reporting for The Source, I'm Mike Balsam.